of things. HTTP 1.0, which is the first technology that was invented. And there, here's what, how it works, okay? HTTP protocols, obviously, guys, it's built on the TCP protocol. And we made another video about HTTP. I'm going to reference it if you want to learn more about it. But in a nutshell, it's built on the TCP protocol. When we first invented this HTTP first version, we said it's going to be a request response system. So the client always makes a request and the server responds to that request. It's not the other way around, okay? The server doesn't just randomly send information to the client. It always, the client has to initiate the request. And it worked great, and it's still working great. However, when we built this, the first version, we said, okay, let's be smart, okay? TCP is expensive. It requires memory. It requires all these descriptors to be saved in the server. So when the client opens the, uh, the TCP connection and sends the first GET request, okay, and the server responds, like say, hey, I'm going to get the index.html, the server responds back with the, HT, uh, the actual data, and then what we're going to do, we're going to be smart. Hey, we just finished the request. Let's close the connection. And then if you want to make another request, just go ahead and open another TCP connection, okay, and then request the second thing you want, okay? And now imagine, guys, you have an image, you have a website, okay, with like three, uh, 30 images, and you can open and close connection for every single thing, okay? We just literally killed the performance, okay? That was quickly revised, and this model of opening and closing connection did not scale at all, okay? So we said, one, one to the rescue, okay? and and I want to talk about 1.1 one, one because this is what the WebSockets was built on. And you need that. You cannot do WebSockets on 1.0 because of what we're going to discuss now. So we said, we're going to be smart about it. If you're going to make one request, the first request, you establish a TCP connection and leave it open. Make all the requests under this TCP connection. Okay? Do not close it unless you're absolutely done with it. Okay, and that was using the header called uh, keep alive. Okay, and it's got, I think it's an ephemeral header. So that means it's, it cannot be propagated through the proxies. Okay, but what happens here is like you send a request, you get the index of Gmail and you find that there's images that you need to load CSS files, JavaScript. You go ahead and request response, request response. And that, that's great, works fine. And we close the connection, okay? This model still working fine till today. But there are use cases that need some real-time interaction from the server. There are use cases that the server needs to send me information despite me not requesting it, okay, as a client, okay? And that's why we invented other technologies other before WebSockets. But WebSockets is, became the dominant one here, okay? Let's talk about WebSockets.